thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Oh my God, that was awesome. Good morning, everyone, and, and welcome to the channel. My name is Michael for Ford Truck Enthusiast, and that is the F-150 Lightning, all new for 2022, all a little electric, and we are getting our first ride-along experience. Now, these are prototype examples, but we're still going to go check out the battery pack. We're going to ride along. We're going to check out the interiors of the Pro, the XLT, and the Lariat, and uh, basically just tell you our first thoughts of these prototype vehicles. Let's dive in. Alrighty, starting off with the ride-along experience, here we are sitting inside the 2022 F-150 Lightning prototype featuring the extended range battery. 563 horsepower and 775 foot-pounds of torque going to a dual motor system powering all four wheels. Here we go. <laughs> Awesome. Okay guys, make sure to stay to the end of the video if you wanna see an uncut version of the ride along from inside and outside the Lightning, but here are my big takeaways. No kidding, the F-150 Lightning is the fastest, smoothest, best handling Ford truck of all time, full stop. So good. And this is again, just a prototype. In fact, the F-150 Lightning is such a capable roller coaster. I'm hoping that Ford offers some Recaro sport bucket seats options like they do in the Mustang and the Mach-E. It's simply incredible. That is by far the quickest F-150 I've ever ridden in or driven. Have you guys done any uh, experiments with like Michelin Pilot Series tires or anything on this to you know see how much it, it'll uh, little grip with uh, even stickier. No, the only thing we've had on our truck tires. Uh, gotcha. The Michelin Premier, I think it's Premier's on this one. Yeah, okay, on cool. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Oh my out. God, that was awesome. Alrighty, checking out the insides of our Lightning prototypes. Ford had a Pro, an XLT, and a Lariat on hand, but FYI, there will also be a Platinum trim. First, stepping into the Pro, this is the one that's designed for fleet sales and craftsmen. You've got rubber floors and vinyl seating, but you still do get the console shifter, as well as the digital gauge cluster and the 12 inch SYNC 4 screen that in the gas powered F-150s is only standard on the Lariat and above trim levels. In fact, the only thing that I can see that's missing from the Pro is the decorative illumination that runs across the front of the grille. Otherwise, it's pretty similar. It's also gonna come with basic wheels, of course, but you can get it in the standard and the extended range battery. Next up, stepping into the XLT, it looks virtually identical to the XLT Power Boost with the 402A package that we reviewed earlier this year, except you can't order a Lightning with a three-person front row seating. That's right, all Lightnings include the console shifter and five-person seating. And like the Pro, the digital gauge cluster and 12-inch SYNC 4 screen are also standard here on the XLT, which makes it a little bit different from the gas F-150 lineup. Last but not least, we have the Lariat, which features a two-tone leather seating surfaces, and it's very much like the gas-powered Lariat in that sense. However, the big upgrade here, and this is also in the Platinum FYI, is the 15-inch vertical SYNC 4A screen that's out of the Mustang Mach-E. In addition to having a larger screen itself, SYNC 4A offers a little bit more customization and learning and interaction. It basically, you can have driver profiles that you load into the system, and for each driver, the system is gonna learn the features you use most often, so bringing up the kind of the most uh, apps and radio stations and functions that you use in the radio system itself, and it's also gonna pay attention to how you drive so that it can integrate with the Lightning's intelligent range functionality, basically allowing the truck to predict more accurately range estimates, you know, before you run out of a charge. But basically the biggest takeaway from all of these prototypes is how similar the Lightning looks and feels to a gas powered F-150. In most sense, if you were to step into one, you wouldn't know it was electric until you tried to start the motor and found it doesn't have any sound. All right guys, checking out the chassis and battery pack of the F-150 Lightning. Ford brought this amazing cutaway for us to check out. And what you're looking at here is the front of the vehicle. All right, and here's the front suspension setup, which in many ways doesn't look that different from any front independent suspension body on frame vehicle. You got your upper and lower control arms, spring, shock, and in the center here, you're gonna find the actual motor itself. 
instead of a K member holding up an internal combustion engine. What's interesting about the Lightnings is that actually every Lightning is going to have the same dual motors, and these are not the same motors that are in the Mach E or even the GT version. They're, um, I believe, they're a, a different one, but. They're both gonna come with the same motors and what makes the difference is the size of the battery pack. And of course the extended range battery is what we were driving on today, is what gives you the 563 horsepower and both systems are gonna have the same 775 foot pounds of torque. Here we are taking a look at the brakes with the optional 22 inch wheels running on 275-50R22 tires. I'd be really interested to see how these things perform with kind of the sticky performance tires. But anyway, so looking at the battery pack itself, what's also interesting about these is that they connect to the frame rails via eight bolts. That's it. And you can, the whole idea is that Ford wants these things to be serviceable because there's an eight year, 100,000 mile warranty on all of the drivetrain components, including the battery pack. And what that means is that if your battery drops below kind of a 70% charging rate, they're gonna go ahead and replace that for you. But inside this large container are obviously, you know, lots and lots of different cells that make up the full battery system. And there's gonna be ways for Ford to be able to test out individual components and replace them individually, which I think is going to save them money during the warranty period for any kind of errors and mistakes. And I think it's also gonna save customers after the fact, let's say it's 10 years later and you're out of warranty and you have one or two battery components that have gone bad, well, you're going to be able to take it to a shop that's going to drop the battery and then replace it, you know, just the, replace the individual components that are having issues. But anyway, full size tire. And of course, here is the independent rear suspension, a first for the F-150. There's the half shaft coming out there. So completely different suspension setup, which again makes it a really, really smooth riding truck compared to the standard F-150. It's more like the Expedition driving experience in that sense. But yeah, same motors, each doing half of the horsepower and half of the torque. All four-wheel drive all the time with these, although I'm sure the computer will not always be powering every wheel to save power. But uh, unlike a traditional truck, there's no transfer case or there's no drive shafts or anything like that. All the power is kind of built into the axle areas, so to speak. So yeah, that's our look at the battery pack and the chassis. Very fascinating to see. And I think there's been uh, some smart choices made here too with the serviceability as well. Again, eight bolts to drop that whole battery pack, which will be the largest battery of any EV available when it launches. Okay, you guys, the last thing that I wanna talk about in this video, obviously there's a lot more we could cover, but this is just kind of an early look at the prototypes. But the last thing I wanna talk about is everything you get by upgrading to the extended range battery. So from the early pricing, what we know is that the extended range battery is probably going to be a $10,000 option. Again, the standard range battery, 230 mile targeted EPA estimated range, with the extended range battery, 300 miles. So obviously $10,000 seems like a crazy amount of money for 70 miles of extra range, but here's a few other things that you get. The first thing is that you're also gonna get more horsepower. You're going from 426 horsepower with the standard range battery up to 563 horsepower. The other thing that the extended range battery offers is an integrated dual charging system. Built into the truck itself are dual chargers. Now that doesn't mean you have to use two cables to charge it. It's just the way that the electricity splits itself. And so how that works in the real world is that also included with the extended range battery is an 80 amp Ford charging station, which will be sold separately for about a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars, but it's included with the purchase of an extended range battery truck and Ford will put you in connection with an installation network that will help you get it installed at your home. Again, this is all home charging stuff. But with this 80 amp charger, what it effectively does because of the integrated dual charging, it effectively is the same as having two 40 amp chargers. And so the extended range battery charges from 15 to 100% over the course of eight hours versus 10 hours for the standard range battery. 
And the other cool feature about this 80 amp Ford Charge Station Pro is that it includes the hardware, it includes the switch to take your home on and off the grid as needed. So that's where intelligent backup comes into play. And so basically, the F-150 Lightning can charge a home for up to three days, you know, with kind of full-time usage of everything and longer periods if you're using less power. So that could be amazing in some type of weather emergency. And basically you've got a portable backup battery that you can use at your house or take to anywhere. Cause remember this thing has a nine kilowatt charging system. So you can plug in extension cords. You can plug in all sorts of things. And you don't have to worry about carbon emissions being in your garage being next to your house, you know, causing a uh, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide poisoning that you would have if you were running a regular generator or if you were running a gas powered truck to charge your home. But again, all of this is included. So you get more power, more range, quicker charging and the charge station pro with buying the extended range battery. Okay, folks, wrapping up my time with the 2022 F-150 Lightning based off my prototype ride-along experience. Look, I'm a Ford guy. I've driven all the new F-150s. I've driven a bunch of the Super Duties. I own a Boss 302. I own three V8s in total. I'm dropping an LS3 into my Buick Roadmaster wagon. And I absolutely fell in love with the Lightning because it is the quickest, most capable, and best handling, smoothest, F-150 that I've ever ridden in. Of course, I'm talking about the driving experience, not necessarily the total capabilities. I'm impressed by the added ergonomics of the front trunk that is lockable. You don't have to buy a tonneau cover. I love the fact that the interior, the cab and the beds, they're virtually identical to the current generation F-150, so they're very similar. It's not a space age weird looking thing. It's just an F-150 that happens to have this brand new chassis and brand new powertrain, and I think it's really, really impressive. Now, is it gonna be for everybody? Of course not. For example, I absolutely love the Super Duty with the 6.7 diesel. Very, very capable truck, but doesn't fit in my garage and it takes up uh, a good third of my driveway. Good truck, not for me. And I think the F-150 Lightning is gonna be that way for a good chunk of Ford truck potential buyers. The F-150 Lightning is not for long haulers. It's not for people who are gonna be towing excessively every day. But if you have a shorter commute, say under 200 miles a day, if you're looking for some type of generator backup system to your house, you know, this thing can plug in and power a house for three days or longer, depending on, on what you've plugged into it, in a weather emergency. And if you're a sports car person like me that owns a Mustang, maybe you own a Shelby, whatever you own, this is the fastest Ford truck I've ever ridden in. Now, it's not quite as crazy as the Rivian or the Hummer or, you know, even the Ram TRX, but it's also like relatively affordable. Uh, the XLT model with the extended range battery is going to cost, I think around $55,000 starting. And uh, the loaner XLT that Ford sent over to me with the power boost with the hybrid engine earlier this year, it had all the options and all these different features. It was like a $70,000 truck. So I think you could get an XLT, a mid-range trim for that price or even a little bit lower. And with the federal tax credit, it could be even a bigger money saver. And all of that to say is that I love, love, love the V8 engine. I love the way it sounds in sports cars and in trucks. And look, you can always buy a Coyote F-150 and throw a supercharger on it. There's still a bunch of them that are 50 state legal and you get 700, 750 horsepower and it sounds amazing and it's just a total beast. But for those whose lifestyle are looking for something different, looking for something electric, who can install an at-home charger, like that's a big thing too. If you can't install a charger at home, don't buy an electric vehicle right now. But if you can, the F-150 Lightning might be for you just because it offers a little extra razzle dazzle and a ton more torque than any other F-150 that's gonna be available for the 2022 model year. This ride along experience made me a convert. I was also impressed by how Ford is gonna make the battery serviceable. I think that's gonna be really smart. It's gonna save them money and it's gonna save customers money long-term outside of warranty. I think they're making all the right choices and I honestly just really, really liked the truck. Um, so what do you guys think? Are you gonna consider buying a Lightning? Is it blasphemy? Let me know in the comments down below, or if you're on Ford Truck Enthusiast, let me know in our forum thread. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Ford for the invite to the ride along experience, and we will see you on the next video. Okay, folks, in this final kind of bonus section of our F-150 Lightning ride along coverage, what I'm gonna do here is just post 
two more clips that you've seen previously cut into earlier in the video, one showing the outside of the ride along experience and one showing the inside from the back seat of the ride along experience. The goal here is just to show you exactly how it handles the body roll, the acceleration, the braking capabilities. And uh, I think it's even more impressive when it's kind of uncut like this. So you can just see, you know, full rear world, nothing's been edited, nothing's been tampered, no sound stuff. So there will be some noise in the first clip, so my apologies. But uh, check it out, and thank you so much for watching. time I experienced a truck like that was the uh, previous lightning. <laughs> wow, and I thought the, the power boost was quick. Holy smokes.